What's going on, Flix Talkers? Welcome back to another movie reaction. This one's a big one, at least for me, especially in October. We're ending the Blumhouse trilogy. I'm talking about Halloween end. Now, this is going to be my official first time watching movie reaction for you guys. Now, I know you're probably like, where's Halloween 2018? Where's Halloween Kills? Already saw those in theaters. This was before I was even doing reactions, guys. So I know it's a little weird and kind of out of place, but that's okay. We're ending this trilogy off right here on the channel. And I really avoided the last couple of days from spoilers or early reviews on people's thoughts. People were trying to give scores. I was like, no, no, no. I was blocking everything that had to do with Halloween ends. I didn't want to know a damn thing. I'd seen so many trailers before, so many fan theories before, and I just couldn't wait to get Get home and watch this here with you guys for the first time. Michael Myers is definitely by far one of my favorite slashers of all times, though the franchise is up and down. The continuity is all over the damn place. The only thing that really keeps me engaged is Michael himself, and some of these kills are just very iconic, very cool, and the original 1978 you can't beat that and like everything in hollywood something that starts off a cult classic or at least gains a cult classic following hollywood loves to reboot and turn it to some shit. so we're here to find out if that's the case because i'm here to say i am here officially to say if this movie does not satisfy my michael myers needs i am completely done with michael myers franchises forever. I will never support another Michael Myers movie going forth. I put that on my life. He is not for me if they butcher this final installment. I'm a glass half full type of guy and I'm going to give this movie the benefit of the doubt until its final runtime second. So enough talking, let's get to watching. But before we do, if you guys want to show love to the channel, make sure to hit that big thumbs up and consider subscribing today where I do more movie reactions like this, trailer reactions and live streams here three times a week on the channel. All right, guys, so without further ado, 2022's Halloween ends. W-U-R-G Hatfield's home for rock I'm Willie the Kid and there's nothing you can do about it The way this is starting now is a little wacky <laughs> Late one night when the moon was tall The midnight monsters had a fall <laughs> Give me that monsters vibe Alright, so we're taking it back Haddonfield Halloween night in 2019 So this is a year after Corey, you're a lifesaver. The first one? Jeremy, the sitter's here! God, what a staircase, man. Jeremy! <laughs> <laughs> Already with the damn jump scares. Fucking hell. There is one thing I need to tell you. Since last Halloween, all the events and, you know, the headlines of Michael Myers, Jeremy's been afraid of the dark. He's been wetting the bed at night. He talks in his sleep. He says he hears voices. He's just really sensitive to things that give him bad dreams. Right, all that just sounds like normal kid imagination stuff. Not hearing voices, I don't think. <laughs> Yo, he's showing him the thing? Oh. Look, man, we can shut it off if you're scared of monsters. No, movies. no. You're scared. He's showing him one of the most iconic horror movies of all time. <laughs> I think that would still be scary to a little kid these days. Michael Myers kills babysitters, not kids. How do you know that? He could be changing up the game in this Blumhouse. I don't know. Parents are gonna be home soon. I don't want to play no hide and seek. I want to watch this movie, and I don't really feel like pretending to be best friends with an ugly ass boy babysitter. Rude. It's a little different change too. A male babysitter. I mean, something that we're not used to, you know, amongst the horror tropes and whatnot. Jeremy. Loud sounds like that, man. <laughs> Oh, dang. I gotta say, a big ass house. Stop! Stop with the loud ass transitions, man. I was gonna say, a big ass house for one kid and two parents? Ooh, I saw something in the back. Oh, he's running from something. Oh, 
Jeremy tricked him. Let me out of here! Jeremy, it's not funny, okay? Oh, he doesn't like being in there. Maybe he's claustrophobic. My God, talk about a freak accident. And he's got a knife right there. Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> okay. I mean, epic intro as usual for these Halloween movies, but how does this tie into Michael Myers? Other than them talking about him. God! When I saw that body drop! My heart dropped, man. That was wild. Shouts out to John Carpenter and the Carpenter family, man. His son's killing it on the soundtrack still. Since day one, man. God! I love their dedication to this project, man. And this film's executive produced by Carpenter and Jamie Lee Curtis, okay. Hunfield was a peaceful town. Oh shit, this is the throwback footage right here. Michael Myers was pure evil. He took our dreams and turned them into nightmares. Damn, he went a killing spree. And then he vanished. Okay, so Karen's officially dead. I mean, I thought that, but people were saying maybe she might survive, like, before this movie came out, like... As people searched for motive and meaning, looking in the shadows for their boogeyman. In the years that followed, the people of Haddonfield descended into a plague of grief, of blame, of paranoia. The suffering Michael caused became an infection, passing on to people who never even crossed his path. It has been four years since I last saw my monster. So here I am, a survivor attempting to share my story and find healing. Oh, thank God. <laughs> was the personification of evil. Right in memoirs. It's up to each of us whether or not we lock the door and find our resolve or let him inside. Okay, I'm liking the way they took this intro, man. I'll tell you that. It seems more human, more relatable. <laughs> that Halloween kills, man, was... Evil dies tonight, that's all I'm gonna say. Oh, I must have forgotten to set the timer. Damn it! I wanted to bake you a pumpkin pie as a Halloween tradition. Evil pies tonight. <laughs> Bad joke. <laughs> it is four days until Halloween. It's time to lock your doors. Grab your knife for the fight. Okay, so he got released. Put a good engine pushing you. Finally make it to work on time, you know what I mean? Hey, uh, Ronald. Thanks. Okay, so you still got some people definitely taking a chance on him, not thinking that he's a monster that maybe they portrayed him as in the beginning of the movie, well, years ago. New friend. We're seniors, okay? We were just hoping you could be a cool new friend, you know? Buy us a couple of six-packs. Uh, no. No. <laughs> I know who you are. You did something messy. I can't believe they let you off. Oh, yeah. Yep. You're that psycho babysitter. He killed that kid, didn't he? Yep. A little mm -hmm. fucking pedo creep. That's right. In his face, Terry. Fucked up kid artist. That's right. Right. So where's your next bit? What, what the fuck? What the Whoa. fuck? Whoa. Oh, shit. Knock it off. We're not doing anything. We're just, I mean, a psycho meets a freak show. Wow. Can't this is it. a match made in heaven. <laughs> Man, with people like this living in Haddonfield, move out already! Move out! These legends are gonna haunt you forever, so I guess just... Slash your tires. <laughs> Lori ain't no punk, man. But him breaking the chocolate milk in his hand, that glass bottle, definitely is alluding that he has some inner rage issues. Someone's getting into the spirit of things. This gentleman had an accident and needs a little fix up. Ooh, she's kind of got eyes for him. Why can't the bicycle stand on its own? 
No, no, it can't. It's got a kickstand. Because it was too tired. <laughs> <laughs> I like the dumb jokes, obviously, you can tell. I got a motorcycle. Oh, a motorcycle. Teach me to ride it. Damn, she's on him. You know, you need to find someone that can let go. That makes you want to rip off your shirt and show grief your fucking tits and say, you know what? Let's go. <laughs> that was the least Lordy Strode thing I thought I'd ever hear in my life. Who's that person you're texting? Boys who keep secrets don't get custard for dessert. <laughs> She's acting like an 80s horror mom. Don't tell her about the motorcycle then. A boy's best friend is his mother. She's giving off vibes like that for sure. Hey, Ron. It's Harry. Um, oh, shit. Uh, I don't care about the rattle. I came to see you. She's very, like, taking control, which we saw in the last couple of movies. I like that. But she's four years ago. My boyfriend's head got twisted off. But it's all good because I'm on, I'm on to the next one. I think. Oh, I lost my hat. No, these two. <laughs> I like your face. I mean, I like seeing your face. So do you. I mean, I do too. I like seeing you too. <laughs> this turned into like one of those early 2000s Jack Nicholson love rom-com type of movies, man. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I don't understand. Do you see what he did to my sister? He killed her husband. And he stabbed her. Took her boy. Oh. She survived? You tempted it and you provoked that man when you should have left him alone. Oh, that's kind of a wild twist. It was not the same man who killed all those people. The real Michael Myers was murdered then. What the fuck is going on with this radio DJ? They keep playing, man. Are, is, is this going to come around her? It's supposed to be like 2022, 2023 based on this timeline. Where is the Bluetooth music playing, man? Why is everybody playing the radio? So some people think he got a tough break, like the sheriff. Most people are like, he killed that kid and we just hate him. Corey's let loose, man. Allison's breaking him out of his shell. I kind of like this, actually. <laughs> like, I'll be honest, this whole act after the killing didn't seem like a Halloween movie whatsoever. It's like its own separate entity, which I'm not, I don't mind right now. Oh, hell. Perfect timing. You think you can come? No, you don't understand if you think you can come here and take off your little grass and have a good time with your friends. I know it was no accident. It was no accident. You. Okay, so this is this is the Corey story movie, man. Hey, I know what it's like to have everybody looking at you, thinking that they know you, thinking that they know what you've been through, but they don't. But the difference, Allison, between me and you, is that people look at me like, who is this guy? Who is this monster? And they look at you, like, they see you like a survivor. What are you talking about? I get it. You survived Michael Myers. You're a hero with your struggles. And ask anyone. I'm the psycho babysitter. I'm the fucking kid killer. Hmm. He's not wrong. He's not wrong about that one. That comparison was very accurate. That comparison was very accurate. And Allison is like, she knows it. <laughs> She's like, yeah, he just hit me with some facts right now. You are, man. I've been looking for you. So what do you say, Corey, huh? Handshakes and friendship. These are band geeks? I don't get it. They're just like straight up bullies. <laughs> Not the typical band geeks that they portray in other movies. Oh, that inner rage, Corey's gonna come out. You just act like a goddamn asshole because your father treats you like one. <laughs> it's contagious, right? Knock it off! Really? Yes, Harry! Uh, oh, shit! <gasps> Oh. Harry, what did you do? He fell. Oh, goodness, no, bro. Is this what the fuck I think is gonna happen? Is that Michael pulling him in there? I had my own theories, guys, and I don't know if I should talk about it because some of you guys hate when I talk throughout the movie. My whole theory of how they're integrating the end of Halloween 4 and the beginning of Halloween 5, I think is what we're gonna get here. 
He's been laying low, hibernating, basically getting better, so to speak, you know, getting well, healing and whatnot from that vicious stabbing in Halloween Kills. And he lay low in the sewers just like at the end of four and beginning of five. Let's see if my theory's right. There's Mikey! Did I kill him? Wait a minute, who saw, who saw into his past? Was that Corey seeing his own past or Mikey seeing his past? That's a whole added layer of supernatural, if that's the case. I thought we were almost gonna get like a transfer of power or a transfer of evil. You see what the hell in there? He take people in there now and then. Why did he let you live? No! Wait, who, what? Who's stabbing who? Oh. This old man said that Michael Myers takes people in and out of there. For what? Man, what a scene actually. That was pretty good. They're doing it! The transfer of evil! They're doing it! This is the end of Halloween 4. This is the end of Halloween 4 with Jamie Lloyd! You're Jamie Lloyd now! You're Danielle Harris, buddy. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, Jamie knows something is up. Lori. I know he's had his difficulties. This town turned against him after the accident with Jeremy Allen. They would have felt for him. They would have helped him heal. But because your boogeyman disappeared, they needed a new one. Mmm. Makes sense. I mean, it t this all totally makes sense. Like, the town would turn against someone. They need a finger to point some, you know, you the boogeyman. That's the boogeyman. That's the bad guy. I'm not afraid anymore. Oh, you tell me you want to burn it. Hey, twice in one week. Pretty cool. Hey, you said you uh, you were gonna call. You were you were gonna call, but you didn't call. I'm with someone. Oh, oh. Well, let me tell you, it's a uh, change of mind. There's he said we're good. Hey, buddy, you got a problem? Oh shit, Allison. I knew it was gonna be like. Aggravated manslaughter at night when you can't sleep. Yeah. This kid, Corey, cannot catch a break. I, everybody's gonna recognize him left and right. Hey, relax, Corey. It's a cop, man. I'm surprised all these off-duty cops didn't jump, man. Like, just burn it all to the ground. Oh, like a match. Oh man, that, that transfer of evil is real. That shit is so real! So that's possibly the direction they're going with this film, man. Which if they are, I thought the sequels weren't canon. I thought that's what was happening in this Blumhouse world, other than the original. But how are you going to take elements of part four and five for your gain? You did not create an original story, if that's the fact. I know I'm speaking a little bit too soon until I get to the end, but damn it, I'm already halfway through this movie. <laughs> and I gotta speak my mind. Oh. Corey was laughing? That's some Joker shit.
Oh, Michael's still super weak. He said, show me how to do it. What the fuck? This is crazy. Still got accurate precision. It's like that refueled him. After that second stab, he was like... <laughs> Shit, man, another wild scene. Hey. Did Michael Myers let you up? Or did you escape? Oh. Yo! Oh man, this is such a different Michael from the first two movies, from the Blumhouse movies. Hey, Roger. I always liked Corey. You know, some kids, you can tell they're a pain in the Oh, the dad. He's a good kid. And then yesterday, I'm on my way to work. There he is. And I think, I'm going to say something. Prove my wife wrong. And I pull up next to him, and he looks at me. And it's not him. At least not in the eyes. And I don't know, man. Wow. I'll be honest. I mean, even though it's different, I, I, I like it. As a, as a fan of the sequels, I like the route that they're going so far. Here's, tell me with your eyes. This house is right. so rich. Oh. More useless characters. I don't care about the doctor fucking his nurse or secretary or whatever she is. But we all know these stupid characters. Cattle. <laughs> Just a little reek, 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 pin cushion for Mikey. Dr. Mathis. All right. Over an hour in, let's get some Michael kills. Let's go. I don't need to know how they're all tied or how he ended up killing them first. I just want to see some Michael kills. Let's go. Oh, is that Corey? Corey's got the scarecrow mask on. Oh, they're putting in work overtime, double teaming. Classic kill up against the wall. Clean. That's a classic Michael kill right there. I don't need to see more. Like, that's classic. Head till... Ah. Oh, I thought we were going to see Michael <laughs> behind on the motorcycle, just holding him. <laughs> New friend? <laughs> Talk about living a double life, man. What are you trying to kill yourself? I'm not interested in immortality. Yo, he did the Michael sit-up. He did the Michael sit-up. Corey Cunningham, what you doing out here, you ugly motherfucker? Corey, stop it. I know who you are. Yeah, I know the Lord Stroll story. She teased the man with brain damage and then he snapped. Y'all get the hell up off my property before I fuck y'all up. I can smell her on you. She's trying to take you away from me, isn't she? You go right now! Oh, mama's through. No. What? On the mouth? He's too old for that. Mama? Jeez. I hope you find love. Dad, you're a weirdo, too. <laughs> Shit. All right, it's Halloween. It's officially Halloween. I don't remember if they talked about what day it was when we were introduced to this guy. You know, there are two kinds of evil. There's the evil that exists as an external force that threatens the well-being of the tribe. The other kind of evil lives inside us. It's more dangerous. Because we may not know we're infected. We're both fucked up. <laughs> That's for sure. Let me help you. Or let me find help for you. Allison is not equipped for this relationship. So stay the fuck away. You started this! 
You brought me in. You invited me. If I can't have her, no one will. Ooh, that's a classic psycho line right there. Oh, you meet me at nine o'clock. You mean to talk about your grandmother? She wants to kill me. What? You got something I need. What is he trying to do? He said, You got something I need? I'm just a man, and I always mask. Are you gonna do now? Did he take his mask? What the fuck? Michael is really weak. I mean, he's not fully 100% obviously, but Shoot. what the fuck? Okay, well, all of us, right. you squishing me. God. Where'd he go? Dusty ass. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Let's go, Billy. Billy. Come on, Terry. Hurry up, man. Someone's here. Billy. Oh, Billy dead already? Billy, what are you trying to do, man? Suck your own. Oh my God. He stuck his drumstick that he always carried. What? What are you talking about? Oh, <laughs> he's gonna come out just like Michael. Oh, that girl's still alive. Oh, damn. Got him. Yo! <laughs> he blowtorch in his mouth? <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, and he ran. <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. You just wanted to help. You weren't the bad, bad, bad one. But you're guilty by association in this Halloween verse. Oh man, that POV. Like the original, I love that. Hotline is opening. We are. A lot of off screen kills, by the way. A lot of off screen. Just straight up, straight up. Just boo. There we go. Oh! Oh fuck! I fell. <laughs> the tongue is skipping the record. Gotta be one of the most creative kills I've seen, man. Cut his tongue off for talking all that shit. I like that. Now we're getting like our Halloween kills kills. Which is probably my favorite part of Halloween kills, I'll be honest. We're teetering on like Rob Zombie kills in this one right here. I really like that. Lori knows what's coming. I mean, she has been uh, over 40 years <laughs> at this point, but she already has this instinct, like this, you know, inkling always. She's already calling 911. She's already like planning ahead. She can feel the evil coming. And that's what I love that Blumhouse has done with her character. Because when we first got introduced to her in Halloween 1978, it was a whole different story. It was an origin story, obviously, you know, of how this all became to be. But she's become such a warrior. Oh, my God. She's calling the cops because she's going to kill herself. I thought she was just like, I know Michael's coming. No, come on. You ain't going out that easy. You don't. Are you fucking kidding me? They did not do this to her. 
Oh, Jesus Christ, I was... Did you really think I'd kill myself? Now we have our trailer scene. I remember this. Lord, he's not weak like that. You came here to kill me, so do it. Well, Mikey ain't his friend no more after he stole his mask. <laughs> Did you really think that Allison was going to be with you? If I can't have her. <laughs> you s what the f Oh, Lori, you should be smarter than that than to grab the murder weapon. What did you do to him? <laughs> Grandma, you done took in everybody from me. Well, the cops should be on their way. Here we go. What? How he got shot twice and then he got stabbed in the jugular. Here we go, classic Michael kill. Crush his head. Classic Michael kill. Ooh, neck break, okay. I like that too. I forgot he's missing some fingers so it's a little hard to crush his head. <laughs> Allison, where's Lori? We're responding to a call. She called in a suicide. <laughs> The nitty needle? The nitty needle? I love the throwback. I love the callback. He's like, not this time. <laughs> Ooh. She got it this time, huh? Oh. Oh, there you go. Oh. Oh, I love that she pinned him down with her leg. Oh, she's destroying the hands. Oh, he is pinned. Okay, can we decapitate him already, please? What are you gonna do? Oh, you're just gonna make mincemeat out of him, huh? He's still got a heart. Get him in the heart. Oh, I love the reflection in the knife. I love that. You want to take off the mask first. Where did she get him? On the side? In the ribs? Oh, she's going to fucking play with them. Oh! <laughs> I kind of like this right now. I kind of like this. I've run from you. I have chased you. I have tried to contain you. I have tried to forgive you. I thought maybe you were... The boogeyman. You're just a man who's about to stop breathing. Slow. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what the? Is this the end of both of them? No! <laughs> Broke his arm. When you get wrapped up in this moment, man, I, I forgot Allison was still coming back. Oh, they're like, we're gonna make sure all your blood is drained from your fucking body, man. I would just slice him up in bits. Till there's nothing left. Throw him in an incinerator. Oh, they're just there to watch it. Where are the cops at? Where are the cops at? <laughs> Michael. He's dead. I'm not dead enough. Yeah, for real. Time for Haddonfield to start healing. Let's show them all. 
Oh my god. This is not how it works. This is it is tonight. Yes, it has to. This is ha has to be this way. You go burn them or something until we <gasps> For the whole town to see. Oh, they're gonna make this a spectacle. The town needs to heal. There's so much shit attached to Lori's name, to the Strodes, to Michael, to even Corey, man. Like, this is. <laughs> I can't wait to talk about the kid from Halloween 2018. How are they going to do it, though? Oh my god. Yeah, he's gone. At least in that body, he's gone. The body of Michael Myers was disposed of in a midnight procession. There would be no tombstone, no memorial. The mysteries were put to bed, and the story as we told it was to fade with time. Oh, man. Decades of disturbances our local Now it's time to move, girl. Now it's officially time to move. Both of you guys. New beginnings lay ahead. Fear moves through all of us. Oh, Lori stayed. Lori stayed, though? I've said goodbye to my boogeyman. But the truth is, evil doesn't die. It changes shape. Oh, what does that mean? Invite him in. Come on, invite him in. That was a nice gift, a nice gesture. Invite him in. Start a new chapter, like you said. Don't. Don't leave me. Lord, end it. Just end it. Please do not leave off on a cliffhanger. Okay. I don't know other plane. Don't fear the reaper, but is that a clue? I hope not. End it, Blumhouse. This has gotta be it. This has gotta be it. Okay. 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 I like this fuck a lot. That was 2022's Halloween Ends. All right, Flix Talkers, and that was an end of an era, to say the least, the end of the Boogeyman. And I'll just say before I get into my details of why I liked or did not like this movie, I will say I was thoroughly entertained and surprised the route that they went. Yeah, there was a lot of fan theories that were actually correct in this, and I did hear talks of a copycat killer. Do we get that? Somewhat. I mean, you know, we didn't know about the transfer of evil at the time, but just based on the trailer and this new Corey character, people were already theorizing what could his possible involvement with Michael be. And we got to see his introduction, his grim introduction, 2019, a year after that fateful night involving the Strodes. So first off, I think that's an awesome way to introduce this character. I mean, he's let out. We don't really know how many years he did spend behind jail, though they kind of found Found him wrongfully accused as far as it more being of an accident than intentional so i think he probably did a couple of years or so got out now he's branded a killer a kid killer at that and a lot of the town either is on his side or not on his side but like i mentioned in my reaction Seems like more leaning to one side than the other. I mean, he has bullies. He has a lot of adults not believing him either. Life just sucks for Corey after Halloween night in 2019. But the build of that character once he got out, I really felt for this character. I'll be honest, the first part of this movie seemed like a completely different movie than we're used to from any Halloween franchise movie that we've gotten so far. But guess what? I dug it. I was entertained. I didn't know this actor from a can of paint. This is my 
introduction to him. And I gotta say, his acting was on par. It was very believable. He had a lot of emotions. I really felt that he was being picked on this whole movie and the last couple of years of his life. Now we have a different chapter, a different story, so to speak, from Allison and Lori, who are pretty much our only lone survivors other than Lindsay, but we don't get to see too much from her. And Lori has turned over a new leaf. She's learning to cope with what had happened. In her eyes, Michael is dead. You know, the sheriff kind of recommended that she possibly write Get a memoir started, find peace, find some kind of solace. And she even says she forgave Michael at one time. So there's a lot of things to unpack here. I think people on a surface level are really not gonna like this just for the simple fact that we're not getting our hack and slash Michael movie. And I think since my expectations were so low, I went into this just really wanting to see what Blumhouse can do to get back a fan like me that hated their last installment. Halloween Kills is one of the worst movies in the whole franchise, whole franchise, including Resurrection. So when you can grasp my attention in your third installment, when it should have been grasped in the second, the sequel, sequelitis, man. This Blumhouse trilogy really suffered from sequelitis and so do so many movies, especially horror movies. That's why they really fall flat in the box office and the scores, man. It's very hard to come with a strong sequel. So here we are talking the three equal. So my next like has to be the kills. We didn't get as much as we did in the other two films, but guess what? That's fine. Once they kicked in in the, you know, roughly halfway through third act of the movie when we got to see little glimpses, even off screen kills. I really enjoyed the quality of kills. It wasn't over the top. It was just enough to give me the reminiscent Michael Myers feels, the old school Michael Myers feels. Because in Halloween Kills, you had heads twisting all the way 360. Why? You don't need to show all of that. We already know he's gonna kill him in a brutal way. You just showing that lets me know that the audience is too stupid and doesn't have a creative brain cell in their head to picture an off-screen kill. You gotta show it all to me because we're so fucking desensitized and i personally appreciated that now i mentioned it along the way the actual story what happens the transfer of evil kind of taking some story and some homage paid to halloween 4 and halloween 5 guys i've said it here on the channel halloween 4 is my top number three film in the franchise as far as being one of my favorites they really try to bring back that series, that slasher series in the late 80s that I believed a lot of Michael Myers fans wanted to see, especially after Halloween 3, Season of the Witch with no Michael. That may be a hot take. You guys let me know. Do you dig Halloween 4? But that aside, the transfer of evil was a cool aspect of this film. And I know this is where it's going to draw straws, make it or break it for a lot of Halloween fans or non-Halloween fans. You may just totally hate this concept, not get it, think it's totally illogical. Guess what? You're watching a fucking Michael Myers movie. Throw logic out the window. This guy just got jumped by a whole damn village, stabbed in the next shot, beat to a bloody pulp, and he didn't die in the last film. So suspend your disbelief for one more movie. And speaking of getting the shit kicked out of him, they did a really good job of portraying a very, very weak, weak Michael Myers. And in the end, I finally came to realize, you know what? This whole time, Dr. Loomis, Donald Pleasance, rest in peace, was always preaching about he's not a man. He's more than that. He is pure evil. And I got to say, Flix Talkers, by the third act of this movie, by our final frame, our final fight with Laurie Strode versus Michael Myers, I came to the realization I believe Michael was just a man. A very tough old man, but a man nonetheless. And I was very, very excited. Some of the twists and turns they kind of threw at us with Michael choking Laurie, kind of alluding that she's also going to die in the melee of everything. Had me on pins and needles, but in the end, Laurie reigned supreme. And I think you guys just watching my excitement my reaction overall i'm pretty sure you know that i enjoyed this movie and all of that being said i'm gonna give halloween ends 2022 a solid four out of five all right flix talkers did you enjoy halloween ends let me know in the comments below what do you rank it out of five and if you guys did appreciate my reaction and thoughts along the way let me know by liking the video and consider subscribing today for more movie reactions like this trailer reactions and live streams three times a week here on the channel all right flix talkers Till next one, I'm gone. Peace.